welcome to the valleys in Wales. We're doing the Brecon's Way and here is our first day today. So we're going from um, Crickholwell um, to Llangneda. <laughs> I think that's how you say it. I'm terrible at these names. But so far it's been really nice. Um, not too much climbing on the open moorland. Um, we have to start a tough climb though. Um, coming out of one of the villages and it's absolutely beautiful. So cute. They're just not scared of us. Morning. We are feeling so much better today. Um, on the first night, we stayed at this campsite, and Storm Hannah was coming through, and it was just horrific like my friend Helen she got no sleep at all I got hardly any and then we we got a bit lost well we didn't get lost we tried to follow some footpaths that were closed and they weren't part of the official Brecon's route and so oh god like we ended up doing all these extra miles we ended up doing about 17 miles in the end I got two massive blisters my feet are killing but I've sorted them out and I've had loads of food, good breakfast and feeling on top of the world today. Today we're doing the big ones, so we're doing Fanny Big and Penny Fan. So hopefully it should be a good day and we can take it a bit easier. We stayed at a Denny Walt Youth Hostel last night, um, just in the wild campsite. Really nice place, like so grateful that that was an option for us because otherwise it would have been horrible. But really up for it today now. Oh, that was a savage car. Yeah. 
we made it! <laughs> Morning. I'm so tired. But I slept so well every single night except for the first one. But oh, it's exhausting. Starting at the Story Arms this morning and we're joined by the clouds. Made it to the pile of stones. <laughs> As Helen wonderfully demonstrates, we have to say we're a bit disappointed. <laughs> it's not the biggest pile of stones we've ever seen. <laughs> Over there, that's Kondu and Penny Fan, where we were yesterday. What an insanely beautiful morning it is. Morning! So today is day four and we've got another 10 miles to do today. A thousand meters of climbing. We're going up there to start with. And we're apparently we're going past a couple of lakes on the map. Um, it's been really nice because every day has been different. So the first day was like loads of farmland um second day was like the mountain day and there were proper like mountain tracks really different and really awesome spectacular views but a lot of hard work and a lot of steps and uh, i've got quite a sore hip now from all the steps and then yesterday was loads of moorland so it felt like at home and it was just like yeah, it's just like Dartmoor, it's awesome. So who knows what today will bring, but looking forward to it. And the weather is just incredible today. I've already caught the sun, so like, you know, slapping on the sun cream this morning. I've just turned around the corner and reached that point again. So it's just us and nobody else is here. And it's bloody fabulous. on Sunday. Lucky, 
I totally underestimated the Brecon Beacons. day five we spent the night at a really lovely little campsite last night and there was basically someone's front lawn in the nicest little garden and there was just toilets in the shed but it was amazing we had a lovely evening and uh, over there behind us is covered in clouds and that was our favorite mountain yesterday and um, we wouldn't have been able to see anything if it was like that so we were so lucky heading to Castle Carrick today towards that way we've got about 14 miles today about 970 meters climbing but it's just moorland we found a pile of stones that meets our approval GPS because this path is discreet.
Uh, sun. Rain. Rainbow. We're just having a rest. Today's been quite hard. Day five. Uh, oh, it's so hard to navigate on the open moorland. And then it was all three quarries. And just nothing straightforward for a quarry. So it was really quite tricky. Um, but yeah, we're doing fine. We've only got one, one more day tomorrow. And we're going to find somewhere to wild camp tonight. So looking forward to settling down, putting the tent up, having some food and proper chilling out then. We just did this. Do, 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 do. Do, do, hello. Morning, day six, and we're at Castle Carrick, and we've just started. Um, we've only done about sort of a mile and a half, two miles maybe, and we're actually walking back today. And got mixed feelings about it, bit sad, um, but I had such a good trip. I'm really looking forward to getting back. Did wild camp last night, and that was glorious. Had the most beautiful sunset ever. It was absolutely incredible. Um, and we just laid back, watching the sunset, having some food, absolutely amazing. And then we slept really well. Didn't get disturbed at all by like, any of the sheep around us. There was a lot of sheep around us. But yeah, really good. We've got about 10 miles today. It's really flat, only 380 meters of climbing. Um, so yeah, not long, we'll be back. Clang a dog. We're right near the end. Hi. So we've done it and I'm on my way home now. So I just wanted to do a little finish video. Um, the trip was amazing. The Brecon Beacons, just incredible. Like we totally underestimated them. As you drive through it, they look good, but when you're up close, oh, just, they are incredible. They're so much better than what we thought. The trip was hard. Um, there were times that our feet really hurt. Um, we were hungry. We were tired. <laughs> we were grumpy. Um, but it was great having two of us. And actually, my friend Helen was a awesome buddy for the week to do this kind of trip with like we were just like singing and joking and like you know talking about like all the people we've met and we met like some really lovely people um we met some quite strange people um and but on the whole like everyone was really lovely just like they were funny that's all um but then that was the joys of sleeping in the youth hostel like the youth hostels were fantastic because just you can sit down somewhere warm and dry and put your feet up um, and take your boots off <laughs> and they're not funny about you taking your boots off um, and it was just nice to not have to like wash up all the time and use so much gas and it's nice to know that your things are safe and you can have like a toilet um, and like a shower if you want to 
and all that kind of stuff. But then we also spent some time in some lovely campsites, like really small ones. And then we also had a really nice night wild camping and we got that incredible sunset. And everywhere we camped, you couldn't get the views that you could, the same as the wild camp. So that was great. Um, but yeah, it was just incredible. Like, you do have to be quite tough to do a trip like this. Like when your feet hurt, um, and I did have one moment where I did have some tears because um, I just stepped on my foot and it was so incredibly painful and it just felt like something was really wrong with it and it wasn't, it was just the blister but you've just got to be able to keep yourself going and you've got to be able to motivate yourself because no one else can make you do this like you've chosen to do this trip um, but hopefully anything you get out of it is more than the pain or anything like that so it was just incredible and it's just such a a beautiful place and every day was quite different like the paths were different the tracks were different um there was like farmyard and we were so lucky because it's like lambing season at the moment so so many cute lambs just running around and playing it was just awesome um, and we saw quite a lot of wildlife, like loads of birds. Um, we didn't really see big animals like deer or anything like that. Um, you tend not to in the UK. Um, you just see pheasants and farmyard animals. Um, but yeah, we saw so many birds. If you like birds, you love it. And we saw loads of insects and butterflies. Absolutely gorgeous. Um, you do get a lot of bugs because it's moorland <laughs> but I guess that's normal that's all part of it um, but yeah I would just say if you want to go on a long distance hike um, you're up for the challenge you don't mind climbing big hills every day <laughs> um, this is a great introduction like I'd never done anything before like it before um, and this was just the perfect intro to long distance hiking for me and backpacking so if you feel like you want to do something like this just go ahead and do it just get yourself a cheap tent mine's like 70 quid um it's the van gogh nevis 200 i spent like 70 pound on a bag um i've got a van gogh camping stove um and everything else is basically out kit and then my sleeping bag i got from sport pursuit and that was half price for a really nice down bag um so you don't have to spend much money and the youth hostels were um to camp there was between sort of eight pounds a night up to 14 pound a night and i don't think we ever paid more than that for camping anywhere so it's a really cheap holiday as well um, but yeah, just wanted to do a quick finish and I hope you enjoyed it. Bye!